here at Hungaroring, getting underway as well when the lights went green. It was, of course, Martin Kodrick leading the way alongside that of Eddie Cheever, who was right side by side with him. They went down together. Obviously, C Carol Bash was right behind them too. Opportunities there for the Audi as they made their way into turn one as well. The Oregon car also went hunting around the outside too in the early days. The other Oregon car also tried to take a piece of Moto Park's very own Marcos C. Bear heading out of turn one. There was the incident as well. The line speed Porsche coming across proper after a collision as well with that of Respa earlier on. Then, of course, we had the big smash earlier on too. We had uh, David Fum well, not David Fuminelli, his teammate, incidentally, uh, you say, who came a cropper heading through turn two and in towards turn three. There was a few cars involved in that eventual scrap. And then heading down in towards turn one, the Team Engsler car getting in the mix, but it was the collision between the Racing One Ferrari and SPS uh, Performance Mercedes, of course, being driven by Dexter Muller, that would lead to a collision and a spin as well for Muller, as well as the racing one Ferrari too. In came though Martin Kodrick to finish his stint. It was a very successful stint too, following up a perfect response to the qualifying session they had this morning. Eventually stepping into the car uh, would be Lewandowski, who would eventually get overtaken by our eventual race winner, that would be Fabian Schiller, who made a very nice comprehensive overtake heading through turn one. He then had to gain on the back of that of Diego Menchaca, as well as Pierre-Louis Chauvet as well, but certainly making move after move it did not deter that of Fabian Schiller who gave it absolutely everything stringing together fastest lap after fastest lap overtake after overtake to lift himself through the order despite the eventual uh, circumstantial penalty but certainly off the track Diego Menchaca after a spin at turn three it then opened the door for Fabian Schiller to challenge that of Pierre-Louis Chauvet late into the race only then to round the final corner and then take the eventual victory for El Manor Racing and get speed performance